Master Horde Frenzy, uh, Forge. I'd like to thank Snipe Man, Killer P, Slaughter, and Pro Hitman. And, uh, here we go. Let's get this going. Alright, first you want to do is drop your, uh, ultimate is, uh, Dell. Get your tracker balls out. Hopefully they will produce some grenades for these guys. Right now I'm creating a whole Get bunch of confusion trying to explain to the guys that I want to drop the fab into the forge. I miss them already. Should cause to see if it will push the taps inside. And this is where the confusion lies. I'm telling them that I need one to grab the fab after I drop it drag it back into the tower because we're going to open up both sides right away. So there we go. Drop it. There we go. Fabricator deployed. We got the taps outside, so I'm going to drag it in real fast. And this was just a fun thing to do to mess with my friends. See you running a little bit late, so it's going to be a little bit of chaos in the beginning. But when you first start off, just drag the fab into here and drop it off right there in the middle. What you want to do is build four barriers right off the side. Enemies incoming. Guns up. That. Four weapon blockers. First two up to two get put in that spot there. Second one there. Oh, look at that. You guys are down without even getting the barriers in place, huh? This is what happens. We can mess around in the beginning. Nope. Go. I'm going to help put these barriers in place because now they're busy taking care of the spawn. You want to put them at this angle like this. I'll explain that a little bit later. I can't explain it now. They uh, have a tendency to run down the barriers instead of crossing because going lengthwise down the barriers it takes a long Get out of my way. I'm trying to bump and at them. All right. Same thing like this. You see how they uh, work a little bit later in the video. That one and then yes. this one goes cover on that side right there and that's the setup. Pretty much upgrade when everything gets you get your two main weapon blockers up to three, then you can just have your guys perk because there's no need for anything else. And then that's it. Simple. This is one of the easiest uh, frenzies to do. Alright, boss wave 4. Getting uh, weapon block is up to 3. Safety's off. This is what we got. We got ourselves a slump, huh? Oh, yeah! Cats taking damage! Yeah, he's not playing. Drone mark. Locked, loaded, and locked again. There, I was asking JD if he's got uh, oh, about a sport. He told me he has, which really comes in handy in this map. Well, you better just pop out there and mark him. Definitely 
and let everybody know where he's at. Hey, any last words, shithead? Pretty quick, huh? Run over here by this tap, try to get this tap before it's dead. Uh, if you saw the video, stop. That's how quick it went. That's how fast it is when you open up both sides of this map. It only takes a little bit longer for us to tap taps. Area secure. Look around for ammo. Securing the tap. I guess I'll get this tap. Which I'm late. Want to be ready in that circle by 15. It Help takes 15 seconds to get the tap, so I'm going to be a little bit late. This ain't going to be good for me. Sweet. That was a setup from the start, huh? We've got a drone! Oh, you can finish me off too, huh? That's great. Well, here's a good point, though. Here's a good reason why we put these barriers like this. Guess what? Come on and shoot me like you mean it! JD Keating and Or Clayton, anybody using a boom shot. Back to using cover! Can uh, shoot right down the center. You're right down in the center right there. Is that post? Right there, it's in your way. It blocks the boom shots. So that little alleyway in between the two barriers is where you want to shoot the boom shot. Just what I was looking for. The bad funny. Just like that. Down the middle, that's why those barriers are placed in that direction. I'm done. I can't run back over here to pick these guys up. Let's just throw them down, just send the boom down there, help them out a little bit. Like that. Of course, the tap's gone. Terminated. And here's what? And here's the joys of heavy, heavy beam flash. Shredder on. Simple. Gone. Just like that. I'll take that. Go. Now everybody's running out there to get the tabs. Okay. Beginning of boss wave eight. Just wanted to show you that everybody gets tabs. You can get some stem off this one. You just, you know, you want to keep try to keep your tabs as best possible. The damage in the tap. Let's see what we got. Here we go, a carrier. And a sentinel. Alright. Out front in front of the Keegan, JD, whichever you have on each side, we'll try to run behind him. It's never a good thing. Yeah, try not to shoot a sentinel when they're that close, because it'll kill yourself. So, see. Oh, yeah. Three, two, this way. Not in front of you. CPS is trying to kill something. Step in front of him. Always try to keep an eye out. We're gonna go down. That's enough. I had enough. I always try to keep out of the way and try to keep the spot where you can have an escape in case something's real bad. There you go. You're done. Get out of here. Oh, look at that. Hey, how you doing? Up close and personal, huh? This is, huh? Yeah. Still got it. Just 
Always try to get your actives. A little secret I like to do is when the boss starts slowing down, like this, just let off the trigger. And you can have quite that as fast as you can. Lock her back, and now we're gonna leave the one guy down because now we're all two people are gonna clock power, the other two and myself are gonna go retap the task if they got destroyed. Because you want to maintain the task as best as possible. It's a lot easier when the taps are inside, but during this, we had them outside, so one person on that tap, one person on this tap. I'm gonna take this tap. Help me secure the tap. Oh, this will do. Where are you going, Key? Where are you running to? Securing the tap! Oh, that's why. Ow. Alright. Let's see how it is. All that drama you guys. Just gonna go run and hide, huh? Where are you at? Elite drone spotted! Don't you make your parents cry with that. I'm gonna kill you with my parents. Look at that. Uh -huh. Alright, here we go. Boss Wave 12. Got ourselves a matriarch. And a warden. This should be fun, guys. Remember, have fun with this, make it your own. Thanks for watching. Oh, we got a word. Wait, you better run away. That's what I thought. Go on, shoot. Yeah. You can see that matriarch sneaking around in the back. We're lucky we might be able to get her in the forge. Everybody's too busy dealing with everything else to even notice, but that's okay. Right about now, see at that board. Ow. Ow. See what happens? Always while I'm filming, guys. Never fails. Alright, here's a good thing. Don't everybody don't run out to pick me up or not, you know, because just stay where you are because you're gonna be out of cover and that's just not a good thing. Always remember, engineers run back and forth, pick up whoever we can. Oh, we got them all here now, look at that. Oh, here she comes in to say hi. Oh, that's a weapon blocker and everything, huh? She has a couple left, so I'm going to make sure I get these fences real fast. Look like that hurt. Always try to take cover. You don't want to be stabbed by one of those. Because as soon as you get one in the shoulder, you're sitting there trying to get it out. She jump right on top of you. She shows no mercy like that. So I'm letting the guys know there's a sniper out there sitting on the pipe. Again with the weapon block. Will you leave it alone? Hey, hey, oh, it's a good thing for stem, huh? That's about it, though, man. I had it with you. Say goodbye. Sick, guys. Thanks.